everybody, it's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I'm so excited about today's tip video. I came up with something I think you're really gonna like. It is an envelope template so that you can start using up some of that designer series paper. Perhaps you've been hoarding it for a while. It is time to create some really beautiful envelopes to send your hand stamped cards in. And guys, this template is so easy, it's gonna blow your mind, I promise you. I'm very excited to share it with you. So we're gonna get started with our envelope template. All right, so the first thing we want to do is to create our template. Now I have decided to use uh, some of the backing paper that comes in our designer series paper. I like it because it's a little heavy weight and that's gonna be real nice when I do my uh, folding on my um, envelope. So if you don't have any of this, just some kind of heavy cardboard, a cereal box, cracker box, anything like that is going to work. Then to actually create the envelope itself, we're gonna need a piece of designer series paper, eight and a half by eight and a half. I'm telling you, you guys are gonna love how easy it is to create this template. It's gonna blow your mind. All right, we're gonna take that uh, cardboard, or like I said, if you're using a cracker box, whatever, that's gonna be fine. We need to cut this down to five and three eighths by five and three eighths. And five and three eighths is in between five and a quarter and five and a half. So we're just gonna find that little line that goes right in between. And let's cut ourselves a five and three eighths inch square. All right, there we go, perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna line up the points and we're gonna put this inside the track. And so can you see, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. Yep, so this point and this point are sitting right there in the track. That is going to allow me to cut that into two triangles. Now we're gonna take one triangle, just one, and we're gonna cut it down to four and a half inches. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put one of the flat sides up here and I'm gonna line that up with the four and a half inch mark. In fact, if you want, you can even bring it down here so you can be sure you're getting it right at four and a half. And now we're going to cut off that end. And that is the template you need to create. That's it. I mean, I told you it was gonna be super easy. Now, I'm going to write on these, the larger one, this is the top and the bottom and my smaller one are the sides and remember once you've created this template you've got it forever so you only need to create the template one time all right let's go ahead and bring in our designer series paper and guys i'm going to put my grid paper underneath me just because i don't want to damage my table as i do some scoring so i'm going to decide where i want the top the, the top flap that's going to come down, this has a pattern on it. So, you know, I don't want my little animals upside down. See, that wouldn't be cute. So I'm gonna make sure I know exactly uh, which side I want up at the top, and I think I'm gonna go with this one. So I'm gonna line up that corner right there in the corner of my designer series paper, and I'm gonna come in with my bone folder and right along that edge of that template, I'm just simply making a score line. Very simple. Now let's do that here exactly on the other side. So I'm gonna rotate that around just to make it easier for me to score. Line it up, give it a quick score with my bone folder. All right, we've done the top and the bottom of our envelope. Now we're gonna do the sides. So we're gonna come over here this is the opposite side. And just like you saw me do, we're gonna do this again, score here, rotate it around. So basically on the left and the right side, we're going to make those score lines. Let me flip this over, but guys, I know you're just not gonna be able to see it with that pattern. There are triangles here in each side, in the middle of each side. And we're gonna trim that away so I can see my triangle there and right there. So there's one, let's rotate it around. All right, my friends, we are now gonna come along on all of those score lines and we're gonna give a nice crease with our bone folder on all four of these edges. 
All right, I wanna decide what is the top of my envelope, and that is the top right there. Now to put the envelope together, you can either use tear and tape or you can use the multi-purpose glue, whichever one you prefer. But here's how your envelope's going to go together. We start at the bottom, fold that in, and then we'll bring in the sides. The top, of course, is going to come down. Oh, I am so glad this happened. Do you notice? Not, not quite wanting to fold down. That's just a matter of, I must have, yep, I can see, I didn't quite get that little score line cut off. It happens so, but isn't it nice to know that that's all I needed to do, just, just, a, little, just a little snip. And now my envelope will go together nicely. So, yep, that's just, you can see now why we cut out those triangles. We were getting that bulk out of there. Now, this little uh, triangle piece right here, if that bothers you, here's what you can do. I'm just gonna come in with a pen and I'm gonna give myself um, just a little dot right there, okay? That's just gonna give me a guide. Now, I could actually bring in my paper trimmer, but I'm gonna tell you, this isn't gonna show. So I wanna go just below that dot and just trim that away. So now, you don't see that. All right, so this is optional. For some people, it doesn't bother them to have that little triangle there, but if you wanted to cut it off, that's all you gotta do, just a little dot. All right, let's go ahead and put this together. Um, guys, my Tombow's right here, so let's go ahead and use that. So you can see I only want adhesive right here. So from this point and this little piece here, we'll add our multi-purpose glue. Whoops, haha. <laughs> sliding. All right, let's get that adhered. Okay, we're going to do the same thing over here. There you go. Oh my gosh, we have an envelope. And of course, that envelope has to match a card. And just to show you how well my envelope worked, look at that. I now have uh, an easy place that I can put my um, address and things. Now, if you wanted to use a more colorful piece of designer series paper, you're going to want to use labels. Make sure you're using labels um, instead of trying to write. Can you imagine if I were using this side and I tried to write someone's address? would not work. So just be aware, uh, this, this side of the paper, I know I'm fine um, and I could write uh, the address on there. And of course, when we're ready to seal up this envelope, we will just add our multi-purpose glue all around the top and the sides. And there you go. Guys, is that not a fabulous little template? And this is all you needed. That's it. Oh my gosh, so super simple. And now I'm gonna keep these. I have a file where I keep templates. And I should probably write on here that that is my envelope template. Yep, we want to make sure we know what this is now. Here's, all right, here is another tip. I'm actually gonna flip this over and I'm going to put eight and a half by eight and a half. That's gonna remind me what size paper I'm gonna need to create my envelope. I'm telling you, I was not lying when I said it was easy, right? I mean, just that little square of some cardboard and yeah, I now have a template and I can always create a fabulous envelope if I want something a little extra special. And like I said, it's gonna be a great way to start to use up some of that designer series paper I have. Guys, I wanna just say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're staying safe. I look forward to stamping with you soon. Bye-bye.